maybe nine or ten. Wow. Yeah. I was about nine or ten when I got my first drum kit, I was around nine or ten. And then coming along the years, I would sell it, get the keyboard, sell it, get the drum machine. So when I laid these first rhythms now with, with General Levy and Junior Dan and Robert Ranks, I was around maybe 14 or 15. Wow. Yeah. So then we came back to England when we went to New York and we was here, we done more music. And then I went to Jamaica in 1992. 1992. To officially start doing music because I've been there a couple of times before with my mother. But mm -hmm. it was in 1992 when I went there to do music. And I brought myself to like the popular producers like King Jamins, mm -hmm. uh, Bobby Digital, Jermaine from Pentos, mm -hmm. Exterminator, all of them. And I said, well, I'm here from London and I'm good at making music and mm -hmm. I want to make music. Mm -hmm. So all of them said, yes, go ahead. And during that time, I was also staying with another another producer, mm -hmm. executive producer, called Mikey Coos. Mm -hmm. He used to work for Chris Blackwell's Island Records. Mm -hmm. So he was doing albums at the time for Mighty Diamonds mm -hmm. and um, Barry Boom, who is Maxi Priest's mentor. Mm -hmm. And while I was there in the studio, I would also lay rhythms on these projects. While I was there at Tough Gang Studio where we was working, I met Rodney Price. And this is where me and Bounty Killer met officially. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, in the house, we are talking to the Grammy Award-winning producer, Jaswat, all the way from England. Trust me, you heard him. He's telling us how the real story began, right from age, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, where he started mingling with the big names, you know, the real reggae aficionados in the industry. Trust me, it's not easy. You know, as a young youth, to pick up that kind of vibe to that level and move with those people, it is not easy at all. All right, I played... Um, the first video I showed was Benson Bima yeah. from Rodney Price, mm -hmm. um, Bone to Killer. Yeah. So, um, and I learned Bone to Killer is the first, um, let me say, international, you know, you know, artist that you work with officially. E yes, kind of. I would say, yeah, well, because his name, his name has become well known now, mm -hmm. but I've worked with maybe other artists that was well known maybe in England and other places before, like I said, General Levy was mm -hmm. from England. He was mm -hmm. a popular DJ there. Mm -hmm. Junior Dan was a popular singer, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But it's in Jamaica, he would be maybe the first international artist that I worked with at a time like that. All right. Yeah. So, 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 so um, how, how was the feeling like working with Monticilla from Jamaica? He'd been the first artist, don't it? Well, yeah, we would work with enough other artists. As I said, we would work with mm -hmm. like Mighty Diamond and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. There was many other artists that would be around. Like even same like Budra Bant and Terra mm -hmm. Fabulous. All of these artists was always around. You work with everyone? Everyone up until this point. But at that time, mm -hmm. he was the first artist that I could remember seeing before he had a name. So the first song Killer ever done that I know of in the studio was one called Copper Shot. All right. This is the one that I laid a rhythm for, for Mikey Coos from Island Records. But that song never really come out the right way it was supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. So I done another rhythm for King Jamin's son, John mm -hmm. John. All right. And that rhythm was called the general rhythm. Mm -hmm. Now, John John and his father, they sometimes share music. Mm -hmm. So I do a rhythm for you, mm -hmm. and you give it to your father to mm -hmm. use as well. Mm -hmm. So John John's father, Jamin's, used this rhythm, mm -hmm. and Bounty Killer ended up on the rhythm without King Jamin's knowledge. Mm -hmm. But when Jamin's heard the song, and it was a gun song, it's like, no. I don't into putting out gun songs right now, mm -hmm. but I heard that Johnny Wanda mm -hmm. heard the song and said, no, we need to mix this song and put it out. Mm -hmm. And it was there that they put out Copper Shot mm -hmm. and Bounty Killer exploded. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen in the house, we are reasoning with the award-winning producer, trust me, just what, all the way from England into Ghana now, coming to see the grandfather who resides inside the door. Everything is all right with him. So you working with Bon Tikila from that particular, you know, time, mm -hmm. he, he, like, you, you've worked with other people, you know, in terms of that. Mm -hmm. And you met him in the studio, and, and, and you put him out in terms of that. Mm -hmm. All right, what exactly goes into music production? Well, into the production mm -hmm. is really the producer, Mm -hmm. has an idea of how he wants the music to sound because mm -hmm. 
is not all producers can play instruments. Mm -hmm. Some producers just know how to tell the musicians what to play and know how to tell the artists how to sing or mm -hmm. to project their voice. Mm -hmm. And they know what they want to hear as mm -hmm. the end result. Mm -hmm. So the producer is his job to make sure that everything comes together, the music sounds great, the vocals is great, and the end result is what we get on the record, the CD, whatever. So I would say going into the production is all about making a good beat, making a good song, and present it to the world. All right, all right, all right. So you beat all in one. In, yeah. You know y you are a producer yourself, mm -hmm. you're a songwriter, mm -hmm. you create beat, everything. Yeah. So in, in terms of you working with artists, how do you handle them? Um, well, it works many ways. Sometimes we can go into the studio mm -hmm. and work from scratch. The artist will have a song, mm -hmm. maybe sometimes, and he has a melody. Mm -hmm. And we play the keyboard around mm -hmm. it, get the keys right, play the drums and the instruments around it. Or sometimes I will have a beat already. Mm -hmm and I make the artist hear it from before. The artist will go home, write their song to it, mm -hmm. then they come to the studio and record. Or it, it can go many ways. Sometimes okay. you build a rhythm before, and they sing to it, or sometimes they sing and you build a rhythm around it. All right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, on this show today, any video that I show is a product of Jazz Word. Understand? The first one we show, Rodney Price, AKA Bounty Killer, is a product of just what i'm going to show you another one coming from the legendary garnet silk and this is kinley character